there. Good afternoon. It is an amazing sunny day here in Chefchaouen, also called Chaouen. A lovely town scattered across this hillside. Many of the buildings covered in blue. A true maze of winding lanes back in there, which I will be walking into very soon. I'm on the rooftop of my guest house uh, hotel here and I'm going to uh, walk through the newer part of the town here and then into the old city which is where it gets really picturesque, beautiful, quaint, a really amazing and unique scene. This town absolutely meets and exceeds the hype. It is just gorgeous, has a very uh, peaceful vibe to it and despite being very touristy. It is not as touristy as I was thinking that it might be. There are still lots of local people living back in the uh, old town there and it has just a absolutely wonderful and uh, very very unique colorful creative character to it. So today is November 11th so getting close to winter here. It is about uh, like 55 degrees so actually a uh, nice pleasant uh, warm day but it is getting chilly in the evenings because we are up in elevation a little bit here, it's at about uh, 500 meters or 1,800 feet. And so they must get a uh, real taste of uh, winter here when it really gets into the uh, winter months. I'm sure that they get uh, snow here sometimes. But overall, a very pleasant climate here with lots of sunshine and temperatures that are not too extreme. So uh, let's uh, head down the uh, stairs here into the guest house and show this absolute uh, work of art that they have created of this hotel. Look at these uh, paintings on the wall. Beautiful. But uh, my room is one more level down. Here we go. So, $55 per night, including taxes and a really good breakfast. That is about 48 euros. Incredible deal for a absolutely beautiful room with a attached bathroom, hot water. Look at those tiles. All of the work and creativity put into this place. Kitchen. This great seating area amazing Wi-Fi and that is what I'm going to talk about more in a few minutes and separate bedroom. All right, let's get out of here and go see much more of Chechewan. So this is the place, the residence, hotelier, Shay Aziz. Down this uh, lane here. It is a good location. It might not be the perfect location that you want if you want to be in the old town itself, in the Medina area, but it is just a uh, short five minute walk away, so you'll get a little taste of the uh, newer part of town first. A minaret, I guess. That must be a mosque there. And so I thought uh, in this video I would talk about something which might seem not entirely relevant to Chef Shawan, but it is definitely relevant to travelers and especially digital nomads, and that is cell phone service and internet, Wi-Fi while you travel. I will answer the uh, question of cell phone service very quickly first here. So people often ask, how do I manage to have Google Maps and Instagram and access to the internet when I arrive in a foreign country without having a Wi-Fi connection? Do I buy a SIM card and 
The answer is no, I do not buy a uh, SIM card. I have never gotten a extra SIM card for my phone in all of my travels. The uh, short answer is I have T-Mobile, the uh, American cell phone company, although I think they're actually from Europe, maybe Germany, but uh, they are operating in the United States. They're one of the companies with the best international coverage. I have an international plan and when I arrive in a new country, it just works in almost every country that I travel to, not in every one. Now, the last time that I was in Morocco, it did not work at all for the whole month that I was here. I just did not have service. Obviously, they just were not connected up with the cell phone towers here at that time, but things have changed for this trip and it worked when I arrived. And so that is it. I just uh, turn on my phone, it automatically connects to a uh, cell tower and boom, I have internet, data, as well as phone, texting, the whole deal. So a very uh, lively market area. Let's walk into this uh, square here. Fresh fish. The ocean is not far away. Less than an hour's drive. Now the uh, next uh, issue, Wi-Fi as you travel, because that is a important factor for anyone who is working online or wanting to upload or download or do anything beyond just sending emails and checking Facebook or whatever, the absolute basics. If you uh, want to do more than that, then you need a decent Wi-Fi connection. So as a YouTuber, then uploading videos can be a massive challenge. When I arrived in Cyprus, I was rather disappointed, shall we say, to discover that my first video that I wanted to upload, lovely uh, colors of the fruits and vegetables here. And so I arrive in Cyprus, a Mediterranean island nation and try to upload my first video it's going to take about five days not hours days of the computer just sitting there on uploading constantly that was the slowest internet speeds i'd encountered up until then i later found even worse uh, wi-fi in cache turkey where it took a week to get a video uploaded and so that is something that uh, can really slow down your operation if uh, you're trying to post videos almost every day like I am and then you get stuck having to wait several days so uh, I arrived in uh, Morocco in Meknes and discovered really slow internet it was going to take like three days to upload my latest video from there I went to Fez and I thought, well, Fez is a larger city, it should be faster. Unfortunately, I got there and it was... I have a hotel. United States. California. You got it. San Francisco. I have stored. Yeah. Couldn't be come to my store. No, thank you. I'm making a video and I'm walking through the... Uh, Old town, the Medina here. Oh, so okay. the Medina, take this one. The I'm going through the. Uh, I like this gate over here. Okay, so have a nice day. You too, man. Have a good one. Hello. So uh, I get to Fez, and the internet is even slower. Just look at that uh, lovely blue. You're going to see a lot more of it. And here, 
Down on the bottom is the Berber language. The Berbers or Amazigh are the original people of this part of the world before it was Morocco, before the Arabs arrived or the Jewish people or the Christians, the Europeans, etc. Then the Berbers were the local indigenous people with nomadic lives in the desert and many of the uh, people here today are descendants of the Berber people. All right, let's walk through the uh, beautiful gate here. Here we are entering the Medina, which goes on and on. I haven't been that way yet, but the uh, main square is this way. So you can go that way, that is the uh, more direct way to the main square, but I will walk through this way. I've been sort of mapping out the uh, city. And so we'll go through this uh, smaller lane here and get a great taste of the character of this town. And so I uh, caught a bus from Fez to Chefchouan, about uh, five hours. Cost about $10, very comfortable. And arrive here, check into the hotel, get on the internet, and lo and behold, they have amazing fast Wi-Fi there. So uh, that was an absolute Surprise. Okay, I haven't uh, seen this little square down here. Let's check it out. That was just such a relief. And that is the one and only reason why I've been able to upload videos daily for the past a week or so is I've been working away editing every day and getting those uh, videos posted. So kind of the point was just to illustrate a challenge you will run into while traveling and uh, just the randomness of the internet speeds and just the uh, reality you're going to have to work with if you're traveling, relying on the internet, being a digital nomad. Now, there have been various uh, suggestions for how to solve the slow internet problem. And if one of them genuinely worked, I would do it. But I haven't found the true solution yet. So one is to uh, go to internet cafes and use the uh, internet there. But very often, they have basically the same internet speeds as elsewhere. So here are some uh, Moroccan dishes. Starters, Moroccan salad, various salads, soups, omelets, main courses. Tagine is the classic Moroccan dish. And couscous, it's kind of the two main things is tagine with meat, vegetables, plums, couscous with meat, vegetables, etc. And then they have some other options. Pasta, spaghetti, pizza, tacos. 
bean soup. I had a, a bean soup here my first night that was just absolutely delicious, like a lentil, like kind of a split pea soup. Nice uh, cozy place here. This is where the other lane would come up and then you have the uh, restaurants all along here beside the main square and this spectacular castle. So I haven't tried to go inside here yet. I'm not sure what you can see. Maybe I will save that for another video. So on the left here is the restaurant where I had the amazing bean soup. I ate there the first two nights that I was here. And I will show where the uh, other restaurant is where I ate a couple of nights as well. So you can go that way, but the real maze is back this way. Now I haven't been through this gate. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's just like a courtyard. Yes, just some uh, shops back here, it looks like. Caravanserai. Cool. This is a caravanserai, I see. Yes. I see, very cool. Welcome, brother. Thank you very much. Artisana Berber. Berber? Yes. Businesses? Yes. I see. Yeah. No. no thanks. See you. See you later. Take a pick which way to go. I discovered this restaurant up here just by walking up here and just seeing the uh, sign for it and it's a very nice restaurant. And the smells right now are amazing. There's some incense going. The Barcelona Hotel, Spain, very close, just north. Salam, salam. Where you from? USA. Where are you from? From the desert, Sahara, normal. I have uh, uh, women, uh, India women. It's actually a man. He, he, looks, he looks very feminine, but this is Shiva. Shiva is the original right. from India now? Yes, you're right, you're right. Uh, Indian god. Uh, uh, exactly. The most important Indian yes, god. Yes, yes, yes. Shiva. How many days here? Now, so far, six days, I think. Six days, good luck. Which town you're from? You're from original from Merzuga. I know Merzuga, yes. Yes, you know Merzuga. I did the, uh, Sahad, Maroc. I did the desert tour from yes. uh, Marrakesh to uh, Merzuga, Wazazed, Sahara. Yes. Amazing. I want to go there more and see some other uh, Kenifra, 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 Kenifra. Kenifra. I've heard about some good Atlas. 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 in the mountains. Okay. Yes. I have beautiful interlocks. I have uh, like the. You have a shop the here. Yes. yes. I have loom. I handmade. I have loom. Oh, I see. You yes. make. Uh, I make here. It's the women handmade. Uh, clothing or. Yes. I see. Very cool. Okay. Right. For now, I'm uh, walking. And more really good smells, some food smells. Now this is where I basically get uh, pretty lost. I forget which way I went before, if it was up there. So uh, these are the Moroccan homes, number 61. They're like caves, almost. <laughs> what is this? Is this a, a home or? Oh, yep. Uh, half loaf, no problem. No come pizza. It's okay? Yeah, uh, come brother, come. You live here? Me, I live in, in the street. Oh, I see. So it's, uh, I see. It's like a courtyard. 
Okay. Salam. Picture Rab. Hello. Nice. Yes. Nice. Hand. Beautiful. 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 Up is very beautiful. Yeah, that's where I'm going now. Uh, Up you, the hill. You live in there. Where from America? America, yes. New York. California. California. I other like, side. I other like side. it so much. We need some more quid. Good guide. No, thank you. I'm just hey. uh, walking, walking hey. by myself. Give, uh, give everything. No, thank you. I just no. walk on my own. No. no, thanks. Okay. See you. Good luck, brother. All right. Have a good one. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, now uh, I want to try to find the route that I walked yesterday. I think this is right. I kind of recognize this corner here. And from here, up the hill. And then I think I went left. Here. <laughs> because there's a uh, old gate that I found that leads outside of the uh, town but uh, is a uh, little used gate it looks like it was quite interesting so anyway let's go this way and see where we end up that is the idea is just to get lost in a maze, which is very easy to do. Okay, I think this is the way that I went yesterday. Oh man, getting out of breath quick, but uh, not too much higher up here. Getting some nice views, but they will get nicer. Okay, so I went up here yesterday. It's just a uh, dead end, but uh, so amazing how it's all blue. Meow. This one just ends right there. But what a unique and peaceful place to live. And although it is touristy, it is not overrun as much as I thought that it might be. As you can see, lots of local people still living here in the Medina, the old town, shopping at the uh, markets, walking around. All local homes occupied by presumably local people, not expats taking over. All right, this is the uh, old wall. Yes. Gabriel, your name? Riyadh. Riyadh, cool. Your name? Demi. Papa Demi? I can't say that one. M Mom. Huh? Mohammed, Mohammed, okay. Nice to meet you. Wow, somebody is cooking something that smells amazing. And here we go, one of the old gates. No idea how old. Oh, here we go. Got a date. One of the secondary gates in the northern side during the time of Mule Mohammed Ben Rashid, 1540 to 1560. Well, hello there. So, this is the end of the town all of a sudden, and it is just the Mediterranean-style landscapes. And some stairs going up there. Wow. All right, I think that I'm going to end this video here, since that was a nice uh, long walk there, and uh, start another video and walk up one of these hills, maybe up there, try to get up there somewhere, and then come back down to the uh, city and show more of the uh, maze there.